Hi, it's Matt Sparks, and today I have the inline two overhead valve. So, as you can see, it is literally just two one cylinder overhead valves just slapped together. So, pretty much, if you want to make it at home, that's all you have to do is just make two heads or three heads, four heads, whatever you want to make, how many cylinders you're going to do, and just, um, you know, hook up all the linkages together, make a longer camshaft, crankshaft, pist uh, more pistons. And, uh, yeah, it's just pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. Um, so as you can probably imagine, I had two heads on there with, I used to have two, um, intake, uh, ports in here. Well, and I had an intake manifold connected to, well, that was pretty inefficient. So I just took that off of there and, um, inside there, as you can probably imagine, I have two heads and, um, then I just made it open like that. And then have there, so the inlet comes in there, so the vacuum splits between the two like that. Now, as you can probably imagine, there's a lot of space in here. So I filled in some of the space without um, taking too much out or restrict it, but enough that it won't um, it won't have excess uh, space in there, so that the vacuum doesn't have to put under negative pressure. So um, that's what I did, and it ran a whole lot more faster. Um, I did some messing around with the timing as you can see i did some uh valve overlapping and or not overlapping but whatever this adjustment is whatever you want to call it but i just call it adjustment i guess but um that's literally it it's pretty uh pretty plenty simple i did connect the two with some bricks as you can see in here um there a couple in there and stuff uh, I just connected them. I just connected them by having a couple of bricks um, put together so they won't fall apart in two pieces whenever I take it apart. Um, so it's literally that. That's simple. Now, if you saw from last um, Lenko a video, but with the Lenko transmission, um, the overhead valve one, um, uh, my gear uh timing gear would just come off it would just uh slip off well after a couple of, like five attempts on this video this exact video of it just falling off of there and i got pretty angry so then i decided to go permanent timing and i put a bearing block in there so that it will not physically pull out of there so permanent fix but if i want to change the timing it's kind of like, well, too bad. I mean, I had to take apart all this crap in there in order to change the timing. But I have the timing fixed, and it's probably the best as I can run what the timing is right now. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. It runs almost as fast, if not as fast, as the one cylinder, as I said before. But um, it's pretty smooth. As I was pretty surprised because the valve spring in there would actually add up and does not even run. But it ran up first time, and then I did the modifications, and it ran as fast as the one cylinder. But, um, anyways, I think it's time to run it. I think I was waiting long enough for my whole spiel, so let's run it. As you can see, it runs pretty smoothly, not super fast. It does have more torque um, than the one cylinder. I say about twice the torque because it's literally just two cylinders. So I I imagine it's probably twice the torque. I did feel it and it did have more torque. Of course, I don't have a torque meter or whatever to measure that, but I'd say it's probably, probably twice the torque, um, if not probably another half the amount of torque, 50, another 50%. But um, 
uh, as you can see, it runs pretty well. Um, and so well that I don't even need a flywheel. So I'm going to try it now, as you can see, without the flywheel. And as you probably imagine, you'd probably think, you know, what the heck? You know, why does this thing, why could this thing even run without a flywheel? Because it has so much, um, you know, so much pressure you have to go overcome with a flywheel um, to get across those hard spots of trying to go up, pushing up the valve. Well, I guess with the, um, uh, the two pistons, since they're um, 90, uh, 180 degrees apart, it um, kind of makes up for that so that it overcomes that, um, that hard spot, I guess. So it's pretty clunky, but it actually runs. So test it out. See, how was my finger on there and it didn't stall out so it runs um so it runs pretty well without a flywheel but of course with a flywheel on there it does run better um but yeah that's that's mainline too um if you guys liked it then hit that like button i guess and then subscribe because i don't really have much subscribers compared to uh how many views i get especially in the starter motor um on that starter motor I gotta have a, I gotta confess on that. Um, I'm not sure if I can do a tutorial on that or not. If you guys remember me showing the overhead valve one cylinder, how it was just completely destroyed. Well, that's pretty much what it is for my uh, starter motor. Um, if I can get the remains, like this is literally my pan of stuff that that happened to that. Um, so what happened was that. I tried to do the tutorial. I destroyed it um, because I had to do the tutorial on it. I thought I knew how to build it. Built like three quarters of it. And then I forgot how to do the rest of it. So now I just have a blank spot in my mind of how the heck to build it. So um, I have a conundrum. So I'm probably going to build a different kind of like, I guess, more compact. I'm going to try to make it more compact since I built a... Um, uh, base model ver a version of it so i'm gonna try to build a more compact version i guess do a video in it i'm not sure um and then i will do a tutorial on it but that tutorial is gonna be so long because the tutorial was like 30 minutes long that i went through and it was only like three quarters of the way through like i mean it wasn't even much it was like 75 percent of the way through and it was already half an hour and i don't have editing to make it go faster to like uh, do a um, do time lapse, and I named every brick, of course. So it did go much slower. Like if you saw the tutorial for the overhead valve, I didn't name every single brick, but um, it is more effective. But um, to follow through, but it is a whole lot more longer. But since I don't have time uh, lapse, then it won't go much faster. So. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try to build a, a more compact version of the starter motor, but I think I might have to take this apart. I'm not sure. Um, we'll find out. I guess you guys will find out. But um, anyway, that's my starter motor. Like I said, if you liked it, hit that like button. Um, please subscribe. But anyways, that's my video.